I discover there is no more fear of God in the life of people. Men are no longer fearing God. And that is why when you are doing things with man, you will be very, very careful because they don't have fear of God in them anymore. In the Bible, if someone swear in the name of the Lord, you will be sure of that kind of swear. But these days, imagine that when someone, before a man resume any office or taking a position in the name of a president or governor of a state or senator or local government chairman in different areas, they need to take an oath that is to say they are swearing. If the person is a Christian, they have to swear with Holy Bible. If the person is a Muslim, they have to swear with Holy Quran because they are swearing in the name of the God they are worshipping. But you discover that after taking that oath, they did not regard that oath at all at all. They didn't regard that oath at all at all because they have no fear of God in them anymore. And that is why when you are doing something with a man and the person swell in the name of his God, I want you to be very, very careful because there is no more fear of God in the life of people. There is no more fear of God in the life of men. Be very careful how you deal with human beings. Because human beings are the ones they understand God. They say, oh, God is a merciful God. And because they, they, think, they say that God is a merciful God, they see it as an opportunity to, to wicked their fellow. Knowing that after doing those things, God will forgive them. They say God is a, a good God. God is not wicked. God will forgive me at the end. There is no more fear of God in the life of people. Because if there is a fear of God in the life of people, someone cannot carry the word of God and stand on the pulpit and begin to deceive people, begin to lie to people, begin to manipulate people, begin to dupe them, begin to collect the little things the poor ones have. No more fear of God in the life of people. If there is a fear of God in the life of people, somebody cannot just give a false prophecy in the name of the Lord in order to have sexual intercourse with another man's wife. There is no more fear of God. So you better be very careful the way you live your life, the way you associate with people. I know that God is good. I believe there are still men and women of God. I believe there are people that fear God, but there are few in these our days. There are few. And that is why not everywhere they call the name of the Lord, you will just open up your heart. Not everybody that comes to you. I drop a message that says, who is laying hands on you? And on that message, in that message, I say that not everyone that come to you as a preacher or giving you a prophecy on the road, you will just surrender your head. The Bible said that we should test every spirit. What am I telling you today? There is no more fear in the life of people. No more fear of God in the life of people. Whenever you are doing anything with human being, be very, very careful. Whether the person swell in the name of God and the person carry Bible, stand on the Bible or carry Quran. The person carry Quran, stand on Quran or carry it on the head in the name of swearing to convince you. Let me tell you before you enter into trap, there is no more fear of God in the life of people. People are no more fearing God. In fact, if you are a child of God, if you are, if you are fearing God, they will come to you in that way. That is how people enter the house of God and even do a preacher of gospel. And the person will come to the altar and kneel down, no more fear of God, kneel down on the altar. At the end, he do the man of God that was praying for him. No more fear of God. So anything you want to do in this life, make sure that you are very, very careful the way you are living your life, the way you associate with men. I know there are good people outside there. There are good people out there. But there are few. In order to save you from heartbreak and save you from, 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 from miseries of life and save you from the, the plans of the enemy to wicked you, remember, when you are doing anything with any man, when you are doing anything with any human being on earth, don't open your heart 100% on that particular person. You can just open your heart like 30 to 40% so that you can use 60% to monitor that individual. Hear me, no more fear of God in the life of people. Where is the fear of God today? 
I look in the church, look at the church, look at the pulpit, look everywhere they call the name of the Lord. I didn't see the fear of God anymore. No more fear of God in the life of people. Men are no fearing God anymore. People are no longer fearing God. People are not fearing God. Be wise and defend yourself with the wisdom of God and with the scripture of the word of God, with the integrity of God's word. Look for scripture, look for what is written. Follow what Bible said. Follow what Bible said. This end time, if you want to overcome the miseries of life and the sorrow of life, the enemies have prepared to send to you. You must be a man, you must be a woman that understand what is written and continue following what is written. Why? No more fear of God in the life of people. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me to my, on my Facebook page. May the peace of God and the God of peace be with you. See you next time.